Okay, so we're building up in the middle here. The chain, the colors change. It swells. We've zoomed. Action. He's going to close his eyes, and then something big's going to happen. So let's see. Where did I leave off? He's here. He has his eyes closed. We're zoomed in even more now. I'm going to have him open his eyes again. Maybe the squinting eye this time. But I'm going to enlarge that squinting eye. And maybe warp it a little bit. All of that seems to help give character definition in these animations. All right, so I've changed the position of the head a little bit. His mouth is still closed. Um, the effects are really kicking in, and now I have to build to something big in the body, like a sneeze. I've got to change the texture overlay. Oh, that's something I didn't check here. It's going to be subtle, but yeah, making sure those textures change. The mist. I just hope I was consistent with it. All right. That's what you can really see more easily when you have the, the animation test and you have movement. Okay, now let's go to the body. Make a duplicate of it. Turn off the one behind. Up the effects. Push that inner glow to its max, basically. And puppet warp it. And this time I'm going to start backing off the hand a little bit more. So the body can stretch more up and more down. Still connect with that neck. Eh, it's a little weird. Let's find that a little. To watch this joint. I like that space that's opening up though between the ears and the back. All right. I might need to move it all a little forward. All right, now the sun. Is it still going to be in the frame now that I'm zoomed in? Almost all the way. No, not quite. <laughs> so I'm going to skip all the way to this one. At least it's in there. And then it will go down more and more. Okay, go up to my zoom before I start going backwards and zooming. Hold down Option, Layer Merge Visible, Copy, Command C, Paste, Command V, put it into the corner, transform it, extend it, holding down Shift. Oh, you see, I have that little rim there. That's why I got to make sure. Cut it all the way to the corner. Using the arrow keys can help with this, with the move tool. Okay, now might be a good time to run an animation test. With, now my zooms are over. That's pretty complicated stuff. 
getting your Zoom to work cleanly. So let's test it. I go to Window, I say Timeline, I say Make Frames from Layers, doesn't matter what layer you're on, doesn't matter if they're all turned on or not. I set the timing. I use a default of 0.3, that tends to be the way I animate. Play it through forever. Okay, I'm looking at the edges. I see like that edge, it's a little bit off. But otherwise, the sun movement's quite nice. The transformation is very fast, right? So now we're gonna, we're gonna build it up at this level a little bit. Okay, good. Deselect, delete that, zoomed in. Gonna stay zoomed in. <coughs> Going to close the eyes again, shift the head. I'm just trying to distort it in little amounts so that when it pops off, it's not so unexpected. Let's see. Oh, up that a little bit, up this a little bit more. Close the eye all the way. And then we're really going to overdo the body. Duplicate, turn off the one behind. Really push these effects. Uh -huh. And these different blending modes might be really dramatic. They're a little too much. Let's see. There we go. Build that a little bit. that a little bit more, even maybe give it a little bit of a, an overall pinkishness. Like so. All right. Okay, so yeah, so now it's getting intense, this reaction. Let's puppet warp it. And this is basically to the middle frame of my storyboard. Maybe even to the, the final of my middle. And reminds me, I should probably just tilt the head a little. Maybe even push it back just a tiny bit on the neck. Let's see how does that compare? Yeah. All right, pretty crazy. Now move the sun down. Good. And now I'm going to have some fun with this. Um, show you how you can do something in the frame. So go back up to my zoom. Before I start zooming out again, this is the end. I'm going to show kind of a camera shake effect. So hold down option, layer, merge visible, copy, 
because not all of this has to be really tedious paste. So to do a, a quick little camera shake effect, once I get this one placed, I can do that actually all within my frames. Oh, you see, I messed up. I brought all my frames. I didn't delete these before I brought in this new layer. But that can be okay, watch. The problem is now that frame is on top of every layer, right? So I'm just going to re-output them. That's why you got to move your frames to the trash before you add any layers or, or modify them. Okay, now make frames from layers, set them all. 0.3, play through forever. It's going to go a little too fast. Okay, so now I'm here. There to there. Okay, now what I can do is I can simply duplicate this frame. Right? And then make adjustments to it, like zoom in and tilt it a little bit. This is not making a new layer. Instead, it's adjusting the frame. Need that one. <coughs> okay, so now I am going to move all of these to the trash and just duplicate and make a bunch of frames that way. So Command J, transform, rotate it a little. It's important that I zoomed in so I don't rotate it or and, and don't have the whole thing filled in. Okay. I'm going to duplicate it, transform, just move it a little bit more, kind of sh move it up. I can rotate it a little bit. So this is shaky cam, handheld. And then I can do one that's just really extreme, way zoomed in. Like they slipped. As long as it's all in the frame. Okay, now the problem is a lot of these are outside of my frame window. So how do I fix that? I'm going to say make frames from layers. I'm going to play it through. Just try to show you that shaky cam because I'm trying to build that moment up. Okay, build that moment up. I like that, but this one I'm going to move like to maybe like this. Let's try that. Okay, good. Now, now what I can do is say flatten frames into layers. And that will crop them all and cut them all into this shape. And then I move these to the trash and I erase anything from frame one, anything underneath frame one. So it's like my second big animation test after the middle is to get to 15 frames and I end up here. And if I run the test, then I can make frames from layers and all of it's very clean, it doesn't waste memory, and is all within the frame. Now the problem with him swelling while the camera is moving is that you don't quite get the impact of it, but the changing color helps and then the crazy kind of camera shake at the end is a great precursor to his head popping off, which is what happens next. All right, so take all these away, <coughs> go to my very top, zoom in, this is what I'm doing, take the timeline out so it doesn't confuse me. And now I'm here 